Welcome to the Go Find Out podcast. I'm Jennifer Jelliff Russell, author, speaker, and entrepreneur, bringing you actionable ideas and interviews with awesome women to help you pursue your dreams and achieve your goals. You can find more episodes of the Go Find Out podcast by visiting gofindoutpodcast.com. Enjoy the show and go find out. Welcome back to the Go Find Out podcast. I'm your host, Jennifer Jelliff Russell, and this is episode number 52. Today, I'm going to talk about the idea of memento mori and how it can motivate us to go after our goals. But first, let's jump into my personal update. It's been a busy last two weeks. My husband and I have started going out to more events. Um, Yesterday, we actually went to Bangor's Beats and Eats. Beats as in music, it turns out, and not the other kind of beat. Um, But while we were there, I got a wicked sunburn. So yay, summer. Um, But it was honestly like really fun to be around people again for short bursts, that is. I'm still an introvert who needs her downtime to recharge. Let's not be crazy. But uh, so we also went to an event in our local brewery the day before um, where there were a lot of people indoors. And I don't know about you guys, but I do still find it like odd to congregate with people indoors without masks, you know, or even like shop without my mask. I frequently find myself like halfway through grocery shopping and then having a moment of panic when I realize that I don't have a mask on before I remember that I don't have to wear one anymore um, having been vaccinated. But um, so I I do think it's going to be quite some time before everybody kind of is able to sort of recover from this pandemic. In happier news, I finally have all my edits done for my contemporary steamy romance Blissful Awakening. So yay! I'm going to have someone do my cover, but I do have a pre-order up with sort of a placeholder cover that I created, um, and I'm dropping the pre-order price to just 99 cents. So just for funsies, I'll put the book blurb at the end of this episode in case you're interested in hearing more about it and learning about the story. So the book is scheduled to come out August 5th, and I am super stoked about it, you guys. Okay, let's jump into today's topic, which, fair warning, it's a little bit darker than usual, but I think it's very valid when it comes to being motivated to go after our goals. All right, so on my last episode, I interviewed T.L. Christensen, and a point that really stuck with me from her interview was how she got herself on the path of writing. So she said it was always something that she'd wanted to do, but it wasn't until she was faced with hospitalization and reading between the lines there, mortality, that she realized she wasn't pursuing the thing that she really wanted to be doing. And more importantly, that if she actually wanted to go after her goal of being a writer, that she'd have to make changes in her life to make it happen. I think a lot of us have dreams and goals that we kind of put on the back burner, right? We tell ourselves that we'll pursue it someday. That someday we'll let ourselves go after those goals, but not right now. And then we put our heads back down and continue plotting through our daily lives while still putting off going after our goals. And we might tell ourselves that, you know, we're putting them off because we're we're too busy for work or school or, you know, maybe because we have families to take care of. That someday we'll get to it, right? But what if we don't? The reality is, and I'm going to get dark here for a second, so fair warning, death is inevitable. Many artists live by the phrase memento mori, which is Latin for remember that you die. Because no matter how healthy we are, or how much money we have, or how outwardly successful we are, someday we are all going to die. I know, I'm sorry, I did warn you it would be a little darker show today, folks. Here's the thing. When we think of death, the majority of us think of death as sort of a far-off thing, right? That we have years and years of time left to us to go after our goals and dreams. So we can just put that thing off that we really want to do, right? We can just put it off until tomorrow. But none of us know when our time will be up. Continually putting off our goals puts us at risk of never actually achieving those goals or dreams. Sometimes it takes a health crisis or a scare to make us do the thing we've always wanted to do because it makes us truly realize that we aren't going to live forever. For me, it was the unexpected death of a family member that catalyzed me into starting on my dream of being a writer. When my oldest brother, who had always seemed invincible, died several years ago, it sent a shockwave through my view of the world. I suddenly realized that we are not guaranteed a tomorrow. That really, all we have is now. I stopped doing things that I felt like were an obligation and instead tried to focus on the things that I actually wanted to do. However, it's very easy to slide back into that sort of passive mode of letting time slip by without pursuing our goals. 
of slipping back into, you know, binging Schitt's Creek for the third time, right? Rather than creating our own art or pursuing our own passions. And don't get me wrong, I am not suggesting that our lives should be a hamster wheel of constantly working and striving toward our goals. Downtime and enjoying the little things in life that have, you know, nothing to do with our overall goals is a huge part of finding happiness as well. Like for me, gardening or playing with my dogs, it doesn't bring me any closer to my goals, right? But it does make me happy. So I'm still going to do those things. But it's important to remember that our goals are unlikely to just fall into our laps, that we do have to make a concentrated effort, even if it's just for five minutes a day, to take steps toward our goals. So my kick-ass listeners, I want you to think about what is something that you can do today to take one small step toward your goals? There is no better time than the present. All right, I, I know that was a little bit darker than my usual shows, so I hope that you don't mind, listeners. Join me next time for a happier, lighter show in which I interview Sylvia Beckerman, who is an advocate for women in transitional parts of their lives and founded the organization Life Apri. Until then, go find out. And if you want to stick around after this, you can hear the blurb from my debut contemporary romance, Blissful Awakenings. Blissful Awakenings, a Courtney Bliss romance. Unlucky in love and life, Courtney does something completely out of character. She enters to win a naughty prize. As fortune would have it, she wins and lands a three-month stay at the Las Vegas luxury resort Pleasure Temple. While there, Courtney has the opportunity to experience every sensual experience that tickles her fancy. Despite her best intentions to avoid the more intimate offerings, she finds herself bound every night in the seductive arms of Rafe, a masked master seducer. Somehow, Rafe manages to awaken parts of her she never knew existed. And as if all these new experiences weren't enough to cause chaos in Courtney's life, it turns out billionaire Bo Ryans has set his sights on Courtney. Torn between her blissful awakening under Rafe's hand and the promise of a stable relationship with an amazing man, will Courtney bet it all on pleasure or love? Blissful Awakenings is now available as a 99-cent pre-order on Amazon. Links in the show notes if you want to check it out. You can also follow a link in the show notes to subscribe to my Penny May Romance newsletter, and I will be sending a free short story about billionaire playboy Bo Ryans before he meets his blissful awakening with Courtney Bliss. Thanks for listening to the show today. I hope you found the information beneficial and that it helps you tackle your own Go Find Out goals. You can find more episodes and the show transcripts at gofindoutpodcast.com. You can also let me know what you thought of the show by tweeting me at GFO Podcast or follow me on Instagram at gofindoutpodcast. That's it for today. Now go find out. <laughs>